same team twice in two days. Yes. It just how difficult can it be to try to beat a team in that situation? Um, yeah, it's def definitely difficult. Obviously, they came out, set the tone, played extremely hard, were cut it faster, driving the ball harder, you know, spaced the floor better. They were more aggressive, played more as a team. It's kind of like a playoff uh, matchup. You know, playing this team, we've played this team four times in like the past month. Or a month and a half, you know, two times in the last three days. So it's good. It's a good test, you know. At the end of the day, it's Christmas. So we gotta go, you know, try, you know, leave it here, spend some time with our family. Obviously, we want to win the game and have eight in a row. But uh, you know, they outplayed us. Scored 129 points, which is too much. We also everybody played well. We scored 122. Uh, but they just played harder than us, you know. They went to the free throw line so many times, uh, knocked, it, knocked it down. Uh, they were aggressive, so you just got to give them credit. Give them credit. Um, again, it's it's a good test. It's a good test for us. You know, we're gonna play teams in the playoffs twice, you know, uh, away. So uh, being able to win the first one, lose the second one, was good. We learned from it. We move on forward. And uh, we got Brooklyn in two days. Hopefully, we can be ready for them. Did it feel like every time you guys were kind of making a run to get back into the third yeah, quarter? Yeah, we, kind of the shot. No, we were training basket. That's not who we are. You cannot trade basket. Like, in order for you to uh, make a run, you know, get back to the game, you cannot trade basket. We were making a three, then we were fouling. We were making, knocking down two free throws. We were making a two, then we came down, uh, made a mistake. Then we made a three, then we came down with foul. Like, we cannot keep doing that. You know, obviously we went, went the game, I think we went like uh, to four, four points away. Uh, then we had uh, some unfortunate turnovers. Uh, then they knocked down some shots and went to the free throw line. They kind of game slipped away, but then at the last three, four minutes, we were fighting. We went uh, again uh, within six. Uh, but again, they executed down the stretch very well. Uh, I was able to win. Learn from it. I don't think I don't think uh, our offense was bad today. I don't think we didn't play well. They just just played way better than us. Yeah. But we played well, but they just played way better than us. So you just gotta give them credit. Uh, defensively, for you guys, you always try to. Defensively, we have to be better for sure. We have to. We 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 wasn't we wasn't who we like our identity wasn't here today. We were fouling. Guys were going down hill, straight line drives, offensive rebounds. That's not who we are. But sorry, finish your question. Uh, they like to shoot those floaters, mid-rangers. That's something that you guys defensively try to force. How difficult is it when the shots you're trying to force are the shots that they like to take? Does that make any sense? Yes. Uh, no, it's uh, it's difficult, but you have to live with that. You know, obviously, uh, I've seen uh, Branson score 40, 35, 45 many times in Gislas. You know, um, and we've beat them three times. We beat them uh, in the past also. You know, so you're like, okay, he's gonna he's gonna score 40. RJ Barrett likes to score, shoot that floor at two or uh, quickly likes to shoot that uh, floor at two. Like you know, they're gonna go off, but at the end of the day, nobody else is gonna get involved. They're not gonna shoot open threes. They're not gonna get offensive rebounds. You know, you're gonna try to eliminate all of that. But today, combination of them shooting that and also going to the free throw line, and also, you know, over helping. All together, the, that combination was not good for us. That's why we wasn't able to win the game. Giannis, it looks like Brook is, uh, Brook is king of the kids. Have you considered him for babysitting duties or anything? Oh, yeah, for sure. Many, many times. He always comes, comes by, by the house and uh, look at, after the kids while uh, I uh, hang, on, hang on the couch. Many times. Look at him. He's, he's a big kid himself. You know, so when the next summer, I'm going to just send them to Disney with Brook. He's going to take them around, give them the VIP tour, you know, and then I'll come at the end of the summer and get them. <laughs>